G'day, Jim here from Dave's Computer Tips, our Australian branch down under. <laughs> Just before I get into the video, I'd um, like to shout out kudos to Jason Shuffield, who does a great job managing Dave's Computer Tips YouTube channel, as well as creating his own terrific how-to videos. If you've enjoyed any of uh, Jason's terrific videos, please show your uh Please show your appreciation by subscribing to Dave's Computer Tips YouTube channel. Okay, now what you're looking at here is Windows 11 desktop. This is uh, with the all too familiar, I would imagine, by now central taskbar. Now this is a, a, an upgrade from Windows 10. It's not a clean install and that's hence all of these desktop shortcuts here and the majority of shortcuts pinned to the taskbar they've all been carried over from the previous extent uh, previous installation there are a couple of new default shortcuts here though one that opens widgets which will show you local weather sports results and uh, news items it's it's all very customizable I haven't got much use for it personally. If I want to know what the weather's doing, I'll generally look out the window. There's also a chat app. I, I think that's new. I don't remember it before. But to my way of thinking, that's more attuned to mobile than desktop PC, so I'm not interested in that either. There's not much you can do in the way of customization of the taskbar, if you, but there are a few little things if you right click on blank space and then select taskbar settings of all things uh, you can turn off those new icons widgets there see you later widgets goodbye chat if you scroll down a little bit further you'll see this strange name here unusual anyway taskbar corner overflow that's actually referring to the system tray down here and in particular to the hidden area of the system tray. That's now called the taskbar corner overflow. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. And if you click on that to expand it, that's where you can select which icons display permanently in the system tray. A little further down, you'll see taskbar behaviors. I'm not sure that that's a legitimate pluralization. There's not much here. You can automatically hide the taskbar and this is where you can uh, align it to the left if that's your preference. I think most that, that would be the position that most users would be familiar with. I quite like it in the centre myself so I'm going to pop it back there. Over you come. There you go. And the, the positioning of the taskbar is one aspect that's created a lot of criticism from insiders, those that like to uh, display the taskbar vertically either on the left or right edge of the screen or at the top of the horizontally across the top that's no longer doable it's stuck at the bottom and you can either left align it left or in the center right let's now you see that those icons have gone now too that we've turned them off let's have a look at the start menu um, to my, I, I know some people actually like this start menu. I think it's the worst start menu ever, personally. Uh, Microsoft have struggled in recent times to, to create a universally accepted start menu, and this, in my opinion, this is the worst ever. But you can customise all these shortcuts up here. If you, you can get rid of any if you click, right-click, and you can unpin from start or... Completely uninstall if that's your preference. You'll notice that there's no longer an alphabetical list of integrated, uh, in, uh, an alphabetical list of installed software integrated into the start menu itself. You have to click here on all apps to, a to access that list. Um, and I hate that term, apps being applied across the board. Microsoft's doing it and it's People are doing it more and more in general use and nap to my way of thinking is a cut down or a lightweight version of software specifically designed for mobile devices. 
Uh, it bugs me to the term, but then again, I am a cranky old codger. So anyway, when you open the apps, you can just right click on any of these and add them into the start menu, pin to start. I honestly don't see that this is of much use, but there it is. Uh, anything that you want uh, to pin to the start, just right click. And you can even uh, add in some, some of uh, Windows tools. If you scroll right down to we're sorry about the scrolling so fast if you go down to windows tools there you can you can yeah, add in there are, there are a few more customization options for the start menu if you go to settings personalization and then start uh, you can turn these off show recently added apps show the most used apps show recently opened apps oh. I don't really need any of that, so I'm just going to disable all those options. And then you can add uh, a variety of folders into the start menu, two shortcuts to folders. We just click add in documents, downloads and pictures. And you'll see that they are added down here adjacent to the power button. A little icons, pictures downloads and documents uh, the right click menu on the start menu is pretty much the same although windows the powershell has now been changed to windows terminal a little bit of a touch of uh, linux coming in there uh, just have a quick look at the uh, file explorer as you can see it's it's quite aesthetically pleasing we've got all different colors and little symbols on the folders and there's also a bit of a change to the uh, right click context menu for files if you right click now you'll see that it's a much shorter menu these little icons at the top allow you to cut copy rename share and delete if you click show more options in then you get the full monty uh, that's about that's about it there's there's not too many changes i've i've found that uh, most of my install programs do uh, open and run okay i've struck no compatibility issues so far i, I found that windows 11 is a, a touch slower to start up and shut down than Windows 10, but once you're in the operating system running, it's extremely responsive. Anyway, that's that's it for now. Just a quick look around. I hope you enjoyed the video. And cheers for now. Stay well and stay safe. Make sure to check out DavesComputerTips.com, uh, where all, all our articles are, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.